So Gwen, I remember you saying that in certain woodlots where you were doing your thesis that there is a carpet, literally a carpet of, of the garlic mustard. In other places it's not a carpet. So this, the book, like the, you guys can all look at the dairy bush gigapan and so you know that it's not a carpet in here and it's a real signature of where, so where do you see it in this forest? So in this forest, this is essentially the most of it that I found in here. It's just this essentially one spot right near the very edge where that meadow over there is and it's right next to this path. Other than that, there doesn't really seem to be much. Maybe there's a bit around some of the edges, but other than that, there's really not a lot in the middle. Um, one okay. of my other sites, uh, Homer Watson Park in Kitchener, is a complete blanket of this stuff. There's almost no other plants in certain spots, so. Wow. So here, edges and access points. So trails having an effect on what's actually, what's being brought in from the outside to the interior. We're close to the, we're about probably 30 meters inside of the forest here. Which is significant when you've got a, a woodlot that's only say seven to eight hectares, when you're 30 meters in and still seeing the effect of the edge, yeah. that's a much smaller, functionally a much smaller woodlot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a big part of that, like it being here on the path is like I mentioned that even like I'm researching this stuff and I was finding it all in my, my boots, my pants, socks, that kind of thing. You get it caked in between the, the treads of your soles. If you were walking through here, it's probably bringing it in on your way. So, so are there any, is there anything to eat it? Like are there beetles that eat it or is there, is there, does anyone browse on it? There's uh, some recent research uh, postdoc in my lab is working on um, that there's a specific moth that they're thinking is eating it at this point. But European other than moth? that... Is it like a Canadian moth or is it something I from think, its native range? I think it is a native moth, cool. but I could be wrong on that and cool. I have to read it again. Uh, but that's pretty much the only literature that's been looked at as to what's eating it. So, a bunch of studies on what's not eating it. Um, so. The big, there was a big research project looking at uh, Rondo Provincial Park for a while, and if anybody who knows Rondo is they've got a huge deer problem, first of all. But the deer weren't seeming to like the, the garlic mustard, so they'd essentially be eating all the other vegetation they're kind of, thereby kind of helping the garlic mustard take over because it doesn't have to compete with anything. Nothing left to compete with. Yeah. All that opened up space and access to resources, abiotic resources. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Well, very cool.